YouTube, what's good? We're back in this thing. Today we're gonna be going over the title from the new Lyrical Lemonade music video, House Party. You guys have been asking for a lot of like titles and just different ways you can use text. And I think the way Cole did this in the music video is actually really cool and unique. So I just wanted to go over how to do it. It's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of nesting and a few effects and we can get a really cool look. Obviously, like I always say, don't copy the effect exactly. I know when I did the Bad Boys music video and stuff, I saw a lot of people kind of taking the title sequence exactly for what it is. So don't do that here. Just take the tips and kind of make your own title sequence from that. If you're new here, what I do is a lot of music video effects and breakdowns of music videos. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. We as a community are going for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you have a friend that's interested or anything, feel free to share it with them. If you haven't already, like and comment. It really does help push my content to a wider audience and kind of expand the channel and help it grow. So it only takes a second from you and it's really appreciated. I know it's kind of annoying me always asking for it, but it does go a long way and it really is appreciated. If you want to go above and beyond and support the channel as well as get yourself some high quality music video editing assets, we're actually going to be using one of them in here. You can go over to my website, brindelmata.com. On there, there's presets and overlay packs, stuff that helps you save time while editing. While I'm recording right now, I have a few packs on there and I plan on dropping like one a month probably. So if you're watching this and it's in the future, there's a good chance that there's some more stuff on there. So go check it out. It's obviously not necessary, but it is appreciated and it's the best way to support me as a creator. Also be sure to follow me on all social medias, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff. I like interacting with you guys outside of YouTube. So if you're interested and just want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, feel free to check them out. I'll have all the social medias linked below. But yeah, that's enough talking. Let's get into the video, break down this title because I really do like this title. So now that we're in Premiere, I'll play my version and Cole's, my version's first and then Cole's. So you can see House Party and then Cole's. It's pretty similar. Obviously it's a little bit different. I didn't want to have it exactly the same, but uh, all the concepts are there, basically how to get similar looks. I use different fonts, obviously, and a little bit different stuff. Pretty sure he actually recorded a CRT TV here and I'm going to be using my CRT pack. Honestly, very similar of a look. So I'll be showing you how to get that. So the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of background to use. If you don't have video footage, no worries. You can just use a color mat. So to do that, just go to your project tab and then go to new item and then go to color mat. Click okay and then choose a color. I just chose like a little bit of grayish white. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna be using a gradient tool on top of it in a second anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna go ahead and make that 25 frames long. So if you hold shift on your keyboard and go click the step forward frame, one, two, three, four, five. It will do five frames at a time. So five times five is 25. Quick maths. And then what I'm going to do is go to effects and type in gradient. This is just gonna give the background a little bit different of a look. For us, we're not gonna use any colors. Actually, we're just gonna use different shades of white. So maybe the top left corner will be pure white. And then we'll have a little bit of a gray over here. Basically just choose different shades of grayish whitish just so it has a little bit of a variance and it's not just completely white screen after that i'm going to go ahead and go to the effects and add some noise basically just going to make it a little bit more of a textured background i'm going to turn off color noise and maybe do something around like 30 to 40 it doesn't really matter whatever you want it also helps sell the tv effect a little bit more even on top of the preset but yeah i just think it looks good and then you're going to want to add some kind of title so i'm going to go ahead and click new and then go to new legacy title here. And then you're gonna be able to type. And I'm just gonna type house, press enter, party, and then directed by Brian Diplomata. We can pretend we I directed it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have it so it centers all of them. And then we can go ahead and just find some fonts that we wanna use. It really doesn't matter what, uh, what fonts you use. If you wanna find some good fonts that are like stylized and stuff, I'd recommend defont.com. That's where I got basically all the fonts I'm gonna be using here for a different font here. Don't wanna copy him exactly, so just find some fonts that you think look cool. And then uh, I use the action tool to center it. One thing I just wanted to do in this, have a bold font down here. Maybe scale it down a little bit. And then I just wanna scale up party a little bit. And then I'm also just gonna stretch it out so they're all the same length, roughly. And then for this, I'm gonna go to properties here and make all of the text black and then once you go ahead and get the title go ahead and drag it onto your clip above the color mat and then i, I notice it's a little close for me here so i'm just going to go ahead and highlight all the clips and just change the spacing a little bit and then go ahead and recenter it after that i'm going to go ahead and type in av club it's from universe if you don't have the plugin it's not really necessary i just think it adds a little bit of texture so i think it is worth it if you have it but if you don't i wouldn't stress it too much so the first thing i'm going to do is just go to the edge color and just turn it to white then you can see like the edge freak out is like white i think it's just kind of what i want in the look and then just play around the settings to kind of see what you want 
I'm gonna add the sharpen all the way up so it has a little bit of that. Just it looks a little crisper and has some white edges. It's just a little bit of extra noise. And I'm gonna turn up the jitter a little bit just so it shakes. You can see if I play it now, it just a little bit of shake. I don't know, I think it looks cool. And then maybe turn on the blink. Some cool things you can do is you can add, you can play with the source blockiness. I think that looks pretty cool. The fuzzy just kind of makes it out of focus. I'm not gonna play around with either of them but it's always something you can do. So then I'm just gonna drag sphere eyes on it and it's just gonna give it a little bit more of that fish eye look. I drag it up so it's like pretty much not noticeable at first. So like 2,500 ish and keyframe at the beginning and then go to the end. Maybe just scale it down just a little bit. So it has that. So then when you play it, you can see it kind of has a little bit of warping going on. I just think it looks cool and adds a little bit. And then I just added lumetri color on it and I'm gonna keyframe the exposure from zero to up a little bit just so it has that like with those white edges and just kind of pops a little bit more i think it looks cool and kind of has like that tv look so now it's starting to come together you already have kind of a cool sequence like this so this is where i want you guys to take inspiration and not copy the tutorial step by step like already here you kind of have a cool title sequence for example so you don't have to follow the steps exactly but i just want to show how to do each thing so if you're curious on how to do a specific thing you can go and learn from that and then you can see in cole's video he has like this text almost behind it like move around you can see that like black layer behind it kind of shakes back and forth so to do that i'm just going to go ahead and hold alt on my keyboard and drag the title up basically duplicating it and then on the bottom layer the bottom title i'm going to keyframe the position and just basically have it start somewhere off a little bit, maybe to the top right, go a little bit forward, keyframe it down a little bit to the left, and then go maybe all the way to the end basically, and then bottom right. Doesn't need to be anything super crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and render that out and see what that looks like. And then I'm also going to go to the Lumetri color on that, turn off the keyframe for the exposure, and just bring it all the way down to negative. So basically it's just a completely black layer. So what I'm gonna do is highlight all these clips and go ahead and click nest and then name this something like title. And now it's cool, but we want that green. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is type in tint and go ahead and drag that onto our layer. And it's not gonna do anything right off the bat, but you're gonna wanna go to map white. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag zero on red and zero on blue. So that way it's pure green and click okay. And that might be way too green for us for right now, but we're just gonna leave it. And then to go ahead and get that CRT look, I'm gonna go ahead and use my CRT checkered pixelated preset for my CRT preset pack. I'll have it linked down below. It's for Adobe Premiere and for After Effects. Obviously we're using it here in Premiere. Basically all you have to do is drag it on and it's already gonna give you that CRT TV look. And that's pretty much the whole effect right here. Honestly, there's not really much more we need to do besides maybe keyframe a few of the brightness and saturation settings, as well as that like mask kind of circle around here. So the first thing I noticed, the text is a little bit too big for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down the value to 65 at the beginning for each of these. And remember, whatever you do this top text layer, you have to do the bottom one because they are the same layer pretty much and they're acting as the same. And then go to like 75 at the end. And we can see maybe that scales a little bit better. Then next, I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects and type in crop. This is gonna allow you to get that vignetting kind of look. And then I'm gonna go to the crop tool here and choose a circle and just kind of click these points to scale it up around your text. I'm gonna start it a little closer to the text here, but also try to keep it a little circular. And then I'm gonna drag left all the way and then click invert as well. And now you can see you have that mask. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play with the feather just so it has a little bit of that faded line here. I think that looks pretty good. For me, it's 54. For you, it could be whatever you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe the expansion and go all the way to the end frame right before the end for right now. And just expand it so it fits the frame pretty well. And then drag it to the last frame. Now, if we render that out, you can see what we got here. And then what I'm gonna do is go and add Lumetri color one last time and drag that onto our layer here and then go and I'm probably gonna keyframe the exposure just so it gets a little bit brighter towards the end. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit brighter. Actually keyframe the exposure at the beginning just a little bit down. So it kind of fades in almost and gets brighter. And then I'm also going to keyframe the saturation from like 70-ish to maybe a little bit more intense, but actually not the full 100. And then I'm actually going to go to effects and presets and still use my, I'm gonna be using my flicker preset that I have. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that onto the, the comp layer, but I'm actually gonna drag it above the crop. That way it doesn't affect these black bars here. It's just gonna give it a little bit extra flicker and a TV look. And then I just wanna tweak a few things in the Lumetri color. I'm just gonna bring down the blacks a little bit 
basically just adding contrast. I noticed like the old TVs always have a little bit of that. So I think it's a little important to have it in our video here. And then if you want to sell a little bit of that bubbling effect where it kind of keyframes the bubble, the text and kind of just makes it look like it's coming closer. I'm going to go ahead and add a lens distortion on. Go ahead and keyframe the curvature from zero to maybe something like basically just play with it, see what looks good to you. 54 and then click fill alpha here. And then you're going to notice you're going to have these black bars. Basically to fix that, just go ahead and type in transform and then go to transform here, keyframe the scale and position, and then go basically to the last frame so you can see what's going on. So the frame before it, and then just scale it up and it's going to be a little bit not perfectly centered and that's okay. I might've gone a little crazy with the uh, lens distortion, not going to lie here, but we'll see what it looks like. And then just drag it to the last frame. So there's no black bars. And there you go. Obviously, I think I went a little crazy with the lens distortion. Honestly, just tweak it to however you want. Don't copy this exactly. You can see that even me doing it multiple times, it comes out different. But basically, all it is is just a bunch of settings when it comes down to it. You just tweak stuff to make it look however you want. You know, don't copy it exactly, but that's how you do it. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate you. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. If you are interested in the CRT pack that I use in the video, I'll have a link down below. If you made it all the way to the end of the video and you still haven't copped it, go ahead and type in end at checkout and you'll get 10% off the CRT pack. So if you're interested and want to save some money while at it, go ahead and use that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one.